I started to um, to learn the piano at the age of four because my mother is a piano teacher, and uh, quite soon, uh, uh, when I was uh, eight years old, I realized that I need I need an instrument that involved more like physical uh, pr presence. So I wanted to to play a, a wind instrument, mm -hmm. and um, uh, then uh, I I decided uh, to uh, to do it uh, to try to become a professional at the age of uh, uh, 18 when I got the student exam I, I decided in the summer after the after I left high school that I wanted to to become a musician I studied then for two years at the Paris Regional Conservatoire mm -hmm. and then uh, at the so-called Paris Conservatoires which is the Conservatoire National Supérieur de, de, de Musique de, de Paris and uh, it was in, during my second year there so I, I got the job in Toulouse I had absolutely I didn't expect it at all. I, mm. I, I hardly made any auditions before, so I was very surprised myself. I remember once the audition was done and I got the job, I just disappeared. Like I, I run to some place somewhere because I couldn't. Like I was just too amazed to to <laughs> see anybody. Well, uh, I was in a train uh, and I got the phone call from Lenny. And uh, so I uh, quickly went in between two two coaches, and like it felt just amazing. I, I was hoping so much to to to, to get this job, and uh, I'm more than thrilled to to, to move to London and mm -hmm. learn to discover new country, uh, new new people, and of course the the orchestra, and uh, like it's just a dream. The, the sound is amazing, the cohesion, and uh, also mm, it's, uh, it's an orchestra that works a lot and travels a lot and uh, everybody seems to do it in uh, just cheerful joy and, uh, and uh, that's how it should be, I think. I do not uh, often listen to classical music when I listen to music because um, uh, I'm so used to classical music in concert. For me, it's, it's more a concert thing than I can't listen to classical music while doing something else because I need to focus and, and concentrate on it. So um, uh, I mainly listen to jazz music uh, a lot and I, I really love it. And I'm not saying by this that uh, it's possible to listen to jazz music while doing something else and not focusing, but the thing is that the, at least you don't have to 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 make to tamper with the volume button all the time. I like to visit museums mm -hmm. and uh, and to uh, go to a exhibitions. I like uh, uh, to uh, do some sports. Um, Cli uh, hiking, uh, mountain biking, uh, and um, also I am very interested in uh, uh, ele electronics and uh, ma ma mathematics uh, and si science. So I, I learn a bit of prog programming music uh, using software as Max MSP and uh, that, that kind of, of stuff. I think it's very important uh, as a as a musician to to uh, have an understanding of, uh, of of the score and the process of of uh, of writing music so that's um uh, as a student for example i got i think as much from the uh, musical theory lessons that i got from uh, from the uh, from my my oboe teachers and uh, uh, that has i think uh, given me a, a lot as a musician so that's how i try to to uh, to to work and then the last the last uh, f th uh, two or three years it has been a lot of um, uh, oboe playing but uh, it's uh, at least when I um, uh, where when I learn a new piece when I uh, study repertoire I try to do it in a in a global way and not only uh, trying to just make the right note at the right moment. I'm very much excited that uh, Simon is uh, is a ta um, uh, taking the the, the 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 leadership of the orchestra. I had the chance to work with him once in last January, 
in the Weben Ligeti program. Uh, and Stravinsky, by the way, the, the video of Barbara Hannigan, everybody, uh, I, I, I mean, simply mentioning the, 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 the LSO, everybody's saying, uh, have you seen the video with Barbara Hannigan? And uh, it's it was such an amazing moment, uh, and uh, that and did working with Sam Rettel was extremely I interesting uh, because I, I think he has a, 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 a an impressive uh, uh, knowledge and, and culture about um, uh, about music, and he's also very uh, stimulating and uh, and charming as a person. And I, I'm very much looking forward to having him as a, as our musical director. Elias and Melisande with Simon Rattle and um, uh, also I saw that there was um, I don't remember if it's February or March but uh, uh, some day we will play the Schoenberg's Camera Symphony and uh, Ligeti Atmosphere and uh, Berio uh, Symphonia uh, the same day and uh, I can tell that the uh, Atmosphere and uh, Berio Symphonia are two pieces I've dreamt to play like for the last uh, five, six years, I, I said, I, I hope I one day get the chance to play them and, and to play them with the LSO is like the best, uh, uh, the, the best chance I, uh, I, I could have to, to, to play this repertoire. So I'm very much looking forward to this.